Welcome back to Future Prince TV. I'm Karis Kopp. I'm here with Brad West, who is Director of Wide Format. Is that That's right, correct. Brad? Yeah, At Premiere? Yep. Uh, thank you so much for, for having us on the stand. A really cool stand you've no got problem. here. You're most welcome. A little bit, you might recognize it, some people might recognize it as a bit of a Back to the Future theme. We've got the DeLorean there, we've got Doc, whatever he's called there. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And um, tell us a little bit about why the theme is Back to the Future esque. Well, obviously, the last couple of years hasn't been easy for anyone, particularly individuals or businesses. And we just wanted to come with a nice positive uh, message, which is about getting back to the future, yeah. getting back to business looking forward and uh, yeah just a nice positive positive message absolutely yeah. really positive message and, and positive atmosphere here at the show i think yeah. as well it's, how has it been so it's far it's been really really busy which is which is great because we weren't sure what to expect after so many years being out and whether yeah. people would want to come out and yeah it's it's been great great to engage with people again and see people face to face yeah yeah, yeah. fantastic and, and just to kind of after all that positivity, just to, uh, to bring it down a little bit, there are challenges that we are seeing, uh, you know, with paper, with, you know, materials, raw materials, with, uh, you know, many kind of supply chain issues, shortages of, of, of products. How, how, what have you been hearing about that while we've been here? How are people managing those challenges? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's difficult for everybody, really, at the moment, um, with regards to supply chains. But we, we, we've done our best to try and keep our customers uh, you know, keep them going. Yeah. We've um, managed to increase our stocks to make sure that we've got enough stock for everybody. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's not easy, but no. everyone's just trying to get on with it and, and to look to the future. Tell us a little bit about what we've got here on the stand in terms of product. Well, the other, the other message that we're trying to bring is, again, looking towards the future is sustainability, you know, the environmental impact. And um, we've got a number of new products and some existing products, things that we feature a bit like the trees in the background. I don't know if you can see them, they're yeah. made from Ultraboard, which is a UK manufactured product which is completely recyclable. Mm. We've introduced today, um, well, yesterday I used to say, the ETEC PVC free film, which is an alternative to PVC free self adhesive vinyl. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just a number of you know, green initiatives and things like the carbon capture program, which we've been running for a number of years, yeah. and just getting that message across about some of the things that our customers can do to be greener and, and also to help their customers to give them a greener choice of yeah. materials. Yeah, absolutely. And what's the, what's the feeling now? I know that when we did the, we recently put out the Future Print Vision Report, which is the second year we've done that. And, and one of the things that we discovered from the research we did was, um, you know, sustainability used to be a, a little bit of a nice to have, you know, uh, we're doing something greener. It's getting to the point where if you're not investing in these, these greener initiatives, the greener products, more sustainable uh, products and practices, you know, you aren't going to be a bit left behind because people, you know, people's customers want that and consumers want that. Um, the, the, the attitudes are shifting a bit there, do you think? 100%, yeah. I mean, we've seen a lot of interest in, in, in that, uh, in these green products and also just Customers wanting to find out a bit more about what they can do. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, I think there's different levels of, of, of knowledge, but what I think is that there's this willingness to try and do something, which is which is good. And if we can all help one another, then we can we can move forward really with it. Yeah. Absolutely. And what's the kind of mood among people that are perhaps looking at where they're going to invest next, where their businesses are going, and how is Premier helping them get there? Again, I think it's along the lines of the environmental side of things. They're yeah. looking at maybe what kit they've got, whether they're choosing different ink technology like latex inks. Um, obviously, we don't sell kit, but that's some of the, the vibes I've been getting yeah. back from, yeah. from conversations. Um, and just, yeah, looking at what they can do to, to, to improve their environmental potentials, really, which yeah. will help, hopefully, them gain more business in, in, that, in that respect. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's such an important topic. It's something we're going to see a lot more lot of. More. It's definitely not going away. No, absolutely not. Brad, thank you so much for talking to us. The DeLorean there is is, is gaining a lot of attention. People yeah. have been stopping the whole time we've been talking and taking pictures. Yeah. Uh, and I guess it brings them in to, to have some of those, those further conversations as well. It's a well. bit of fun as well, yeah. Brad, thank you so much for no talking problem. to us. Thanks Future very Print much. TV. Uh, I'm off for a ride in the DeLorean, so speak to you soon.